Hello, I'm Tommy Baldwin. Played 239 games for Chelsea and scored 92 goals. So don't forget to subscribe to SW6. Well, as you can see, I'm still here outside St James's Park. And uh, we won. The hoodoo is over. And we thoroughly deserved that today, let's be honest. Um, first half I, I, I thought we were good but not at it and what I mean by that is I thought the passing was good if you look at Newcastle the way they set up pretty much for the whole 90 minutes Rafa's pretty much set them up to say look hey you have the ball get behind us um, and see if you can hurt us um, and uh, every time I thought because we were too pragmatic and slow in the first half every time we kind of got behind them they managed to get themselves back into position and get himself back into shape. And I thought we were better side because we had more possession of the ball. And we did have a few chances, especially Hazard, just on stroke of half time, where, let's be honest, he almost beat himself. But it was all about the second half. And I thought the intensity was a lot quicker from Chelsea. We were moving the ball, zipping the ball about. And we uh, thoroughly deserved to take the lead, albeit a little bit dubious with a penalty. Um, I'm not so sure, I'd have to see it. From where I saw it, I thought, mm, maybe he was impeding um, Alonso. But uh, Eden Hazard stepped up, absolute class, smashed it in and 1-0 uh, Chelsea. And then just when you were thinking, the hoodoo is over, with this is what it's all about, with, you know, it's, this is a different Chelsea, blah, 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 and all that. Newcastle get a goal and you're thinking all the worst things, you know, that drive home and here we go again and why did I come here and all that. And then we get a little slice of luck and uh, we nicked the game right at the end 2-1 and it was totally, for me, totally and utterly deserved. Um, it was a performance that uh, weren't brilliant, but at times there were shades of sorry ball in effect. You can see why he it says it's going to take a couple of months to put all together. But yeah, I mean, I'll be pleased with this. I thought the Chelsea fans today were absolutely superb. 3,000 of us up here today, packed out the away end, big old yellow flag going across the away end, class that. And I thought the fans were brilliant today, absolutely brilliant. And it was good outside, people were really happy. A little bit of a party atmosphere. And uh, listen, three games now, three wins, uh, nine points, uh, joint top with uh, Liverpool and uh, the Hornets. <laughs> and uh, it's great, you know, it's uh, got a long old drive now. I've got a, about a walk back, uh, about half, three quarters of a mile walk back to the station. Um, where my car is parked, and then uh, I've got to drive back to Peterborough about four and a half, five hours. So I will listen to a bit of talk sport. Uh, if I get a chance, I'll put a few vids up. But um, listen, it's three points here at St James's, and uh, Sammy's here. How you going, Sam? Yeah, mate. Happy with that, mate. Three points. Um, a win at St James's is always great because we haven't won here since what? Two too long, mate. I'll yeah, come up here so too many times. I hate it. I wasn't expecting anything <laughs> today, so a win is a win. But how we won, I'm not happy. Uh, I Second half, we were better, though, weren't we, mate? We were, we were knocking it, we were moving the ball quicker, you know. Is, Tony, I don't care about who's playing better. I don't care who's got the position. At the end of the day, I just care about who scores the most goals. We scored a silly own goal. First half, we had chances we didn't score, so we're not finished. I still think we're sloppy. And don't forget, Newcastle haven't got a good attack, really, isn't it? No, so but they play, they, this, they play like Real Madrid here. It's, it's funny, listen, the mind plays a massive part, yeah? yeah? Think how many times we've come up here, those players, and it, we, you know, it hasn't gone our way, but it has for them, you know? So yeah. they're always believed they're in it, no matter what. You know, it's yeah. Chelsea coming, come on, we've got a great record, all that sort of mm. stuff. And we're going, fucking hell, Newcastle, oh, you know, it, especially when it went to 1-1, you're thinking the worst. Yeah, I, I don't know about you, I yeah, was. I, I, thought, I, was, I, I thought fucking hell. 1-1 or them. But, you know, um, we've got the win, mate, and, yeah. and, and, and what, what a completely different feeling it is now, you know? Um, it's a relief, isn't it? It well, is a relief, I, mate. Long well, old journey I, now. I personally think when you play bad and still win, that's a sign of title contenders. I'm that's not going right. to say we win the league, but a fucking, it means you know, we lost last, year, and, last year we would have lost that. Carragher and flipping um, fucking Neville, you know what I mean? Not even yeah, mention us once. Northern, Northern, Northern. Yeah. Those um, players, though, hater. yeah, I know, but those players, though, you know, I mean, our players, exact same set of players that have won the title twice in the last four years, yeah. and they're saying that, well, it's going to take maybe a couple of months to, you know, mm. get used to the sorry way, but, listen, they're technical players, Why, they're, they're world-class players, what, what are we saying here, do you know what I mean, that all of a sudden... Sorry said it himself, Sorry said if that well, was, um, he said because of these players are so talented, he said it's going to be quicker, quicker than he thought to adapt, where he said another team would have taken a year. 
Yeah, yeah they've, they've won everything we've played. Uh, they're not cheap as well. Uh, yeah, we'll be fine, just got to wait. But I do think we haven't been tested yet. No, we haven't been uh, tested. Been, you're right, been well, so well, you know, listen, it's, look, it's nine points, three games, yeah. and... You, you, you know, you've got to beat what's in front of you. Listen, this was a tricky game. I don't care what anyone says. I thought Huddersfield Town away, the first game, tricky. You know, or let's be honest, it's, a not, it's another place, isn't it, where things mm -hmm. can go badly wrong. It went badly wrong at Man United there a couple of times. Mm -hmm. You know, and, um, we, you know, so we, we put pressure on Spurs now, put pressure yeah. on, you know, Man United, let's be honest, and, and they're both tipped to finish in front of mm -hmm. us, aren't they, by those lunatics? So, there you go. <laughs> anyway, um, who was I doing that interview with, mate? You fucking took the piss today. About an hour and a half of him. Uh, H I T C Sport. Oh, I'm on that tonight, guys. Watch that out. Like, oh, we, we do a bit of sly editing, mate, because I had a little go at Jose Marino, didn't I? <laughs> and I was just saying it as it was, because he was asking the questions, wasn't he? Mm. So we'll just have to see how he's uh, intrigued me there, guys. Anyway, uh, onwards and upwards, yeah. three points, live for St James's Park. See you at Bournemouth. See you at Bournemouth. Hello, I'm John Bumstead, ex-Chelsea player. Over 400 games, all good ones by the way. Don't forget to subscribe to Chelsea SW6.